Sir Mohammad Mukhtar Jama Farah, born Hussein Abdi Kahin Wink with a Frown, March 23, 1983, is a Somali-born British retired long-distance runner. Considered one of the greatest runners of all time, his 10 global championship gold medals for Olympic and six world titles make him the most successful male track distance runner in the history of the sport, and he is the most successful British track athlete in modern Olympic Games history. Farah is the 2012 and 2016 Olympic gold medalist in both the 5000M and 10000M. He is the second athlete, after Lasse Viren, to win both the 5000M and 10000M titles at successive Olympic Games. He also completed the distance double at the 2013 and 2015 World Championships in Athletics. He was the first man to defend both distance titles in both major global competitions, a feat described as the quadruple double. After finishing second in the 10,000 meters at the 2011 World Championships, Farah had an unbroken streak of 10 global final wins, the 5000M in 2011, the double in 2012, 2013, 2015 and 2016, and the 10000M in 2017. The streak ended in Farah's final championship track race when he finished second to Ethiopia's Mukhtar Edris in the 2017 5,000 meters final. On the track, Farah mostly competed over 5,000 meters and 10,000 meters, but has run competitively from 1,500 meters to the marathon. In 2017, he indicated his intention to switch wholly to road racing following victory at his final track race, the 2017 IAAF Diamond League 5000 meters final. He won the 2018 Chicago Marathon in a time of 2 hours 5 minutes and 11 seconds, a European record. His running style has been described as bouncy and tactical, which he has attempted to alter for a more efficient and energy-saving stride pattern, especially in the longer distances. Farah runs distance races tactically, a style which is aided by his especially quick sprint finish. His tactics were described in Athletics Weekly, Farah, could run 24 strong laps of the track, which most of his East African rivals could match, before a blistering 400-meter sprint to the line, which none of them could. Born in present-day Somaliland, the then Hussein Abdi Kahin was trafficked from Djibouti to London under the name of another child, Mohamed Farah, at the age of nine where he was forced into child labor. He adopted the name as his own thereafter, becoming a British citizen. He ran for Newham and Essex Beagles Athletics Club, training at St. Mary's University College, Twickenham from 2001 to 2011. He did not reveal that he was a victim of trafficking until 2022. Farah is the European record holder for the 10,000m and outdoor 2 miles, the British record holder for the 5,000m, the former British indoor record holder for the 3,000m, broken by Josh Kerr in 2024, the former world record holder for the indoor 2 miles, also broken by Josh Kerr in 2024, and the current world record holder for the 1-hour run. Farah was the first British athlete to win two gold medals at the same world championships. His five gold medals at the European Athletics Championships made him the most successful male athlete in individual events in the championship's history. He has won the European Athlete of the Year Award and the British Athletics Writers Association British Athlete of the Year Award more than any other athlete, three times and six times respectively. In 2017, Farah won the BBC Sports Personality of the Year. Farah was appointed Commander of the Order of the British Empire, CB, in 2013 and was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II in the 2017 New Year Honours for Services to Athletics. Farah was the winner of Taskmaster's New Year Treat 2023. Later in 2023, he was appointed the International Organization for Migration's first Global Goodwill Ambassador. Early life and education Hussein Abdi Kahin, Somali, Susin Kabdi Kahin, was born on 23 March 1983, in Somaliland. His father died in the Isaac genocide when he was aged four, and he then became separated from his mother. He spent a few years in Mogadishu as a child. At the age of nine he was illegally trafficked to the United Kingdom via Djibouti, when he was given the name Muhammad Farah and was forced to work as a domestic servant. He was flown from the country by a woman he had never met and made to look after another family's children. He obtained British citizenship in July 2000 under the name Mohammed Farah. 
These aspects of his background were not made public until July 2022, and a barrister told him that there was a risk that he might lose his British nationality as it was obtained by misrepresentations. The Home Office, however, assured him that he would not face any repercussions. For the first years he was in Britain, he was not allowed to go to school, but when he was 11 or 12 he began to attend Year 7 at Feltham Community College, where staff were told he was a refugee from Somalia. His athletic talent was first identified by physical education teacher Alan Watkinson. Farah's ambition was to become a car mechanic or play as a right winger for Arsenal Football Club. Sporting career early years Farah joined the borough of Hounslow Athletics Club in West London. He represented Hounslow at cross country in the 1994 London Youth Games as an under 13. In 1996, at the age of 13, he entered the English school's cross country championships and finished ninth. The following year he won the first of five English school titles. Recognizing his talent, athletics philanthropist Eddie Kulakundis paid the legal fees to complete Farah's naturalization as a British citizen, allowing him to travel to competitions without visa issues. Farah's first major title was in the 5,000 meters at the 2001 European Athletics Junior Championships, the same year that he began training at St. Mary's University, Twickenham. That year, Farah became one of the first two athletes in the newly formed Endurance Performance Center at St. Mary's. He lived and trained at the college and took some modules in an access course before becoming a full-time athlete as his career progressed. 2005 to 2008, first titles and personal bests in 2005, Farah moved in with Australian Craig Mottram and a group of Kenyan runners that included 10,000 M World No. 1 Mike Kogo. They sleep, eat, train, and rest. That's all they do, but as an athlete, you have to do all those things. Running with Craig made me feel more positive, Farah said. If I ever want to be as good as these athletes, I've got to work harder. I don't just want to be British number one, I want to be up there with the best. In July 2006, Farah recorded a time of 13 minutes 9.40 seconds for 5,000 M to become Britain's second fastest runner after Dave Moorcroft. A month later, Farah won the silver medal in the European Championship 5,000 M in Gothenburg. Coaches Alan Story and Mark Rowland made sure that Farah remained competitive and a few words from Paula Radcliffe before the 5,000 M final inspired Farah. He has stated that, she said to me, Go out and be brave. Just believe in yourself. In December 2006, Farah won the 2006 European Cross Country Championships in San Giorgio Sulegnano, Italy. During the 2007 European Indoor Championship, Farah fell and amid confusion started running in the wrong direction. Farah represented the UK at 5000 M in the 2007 World Championships in Osaka, Japan. Farah finished sixth in a time of 13 minutes and 47.54 seconds. Farah at the 2008 European Cross Country Championships. In May 2008, Farah ran 10,000 M events, which was the fastest UK men's time for almost eight years. However, he was knocked out before the 5,000 M final at the 2008 Olympics in Beijing. 2009 to 2010, British records and European champion in January 2009, Farah set a new British indoor record in the 3,000 meters, breaking John Mayock's record with a time of 7 minutes 40.99 seconds in Glasgow. A few weeks later, he broke his own record by more than 6 seconds with a time of 7 minutes 34.47 at the UK Indoor Grand Prix in Birmingham, a performance which commentator Steve Cram called the best performance by a male British distance runner for a generation. Farah attributed his good form to a spell of winter training at altitude in Ethiopia and Kenya. In March 2009 he took gold in the 3000M at the European Indoor Championships in Turin, recording a time of 7 minutes 40.17. Farah competed at the 2009 World Championships in Athletics. He was in the leading pack early on in the 5000 meters race and eventually finished 7th, the best by a European runner. After the championships, he scored a victory in his first road competition over 10 miles, winning the Great South Run in 46-25 to become the third fastest Britain in spite of strong winds. Farah was one of the favorites to upset Serhi Lebed's dominance at the 2009 European Cross Country Championships. However, 
Lebed was never in contention as Farah and Alamehu Bazaba were some distance ahead throughout the run. Farah was overtaken by Bazaba in the latter stages of the race, leaving the Briton with a second consecutive silver medal at the competition. He did not manage to attend the medal ceremony, however, as he collapsed immediately after the race and needed medical attention. After a close third place behind Edwin Soy at the Bio Classic, Farah competed in the short course race at the Great Edinburgh Cross Country. He was the favorite to win and surged ahead to build a comfortable lead. However, he appeared tired in the latter stages and finished third behind British runners Ricky Stevenson and Steve Vernon. Farah again required post-race medical attention and subsequent tests revealed he had low levels of iron and magnesium. He was prescribed supplements for the condition and his high-altitude training plans in Kenya were unaffected. Farah celebrates winning the 10,000 M at the 2010 European Athletics Championships. Farah won the 2010 London 10,000 in late May in a time of 27,44, in the process beating 10K world record holder Mike Kogo. His success continued the following week at the European Cup 10,000 M. There, he improved his track best by nearly 16 seconds, finishing in a time of 27 minutes and 28.86 seconds. Farah won by a margin of over 40 seconds ahead of second place Abdelative Mefta. After training in Africa, he returned to Europe for the 2010 European Athletics Championships. He took the 10,000 meters gold medal, overtaking Ayed Lamdassam with two laps to go and finishing the race unpressured in a time of 28 minutes and 24.99 seconds. This was Farah's first major title and also the first European gold medal in the event for Great Britain. He then went on to win the 5000 M, beating Jesus España and becoming only the fifth man in the 66-year history of the European Championships to achieve the 5000 M-10000 M double, and the first for 20 years. Following in the footsteps of the Czech Emil Zatopek in 1950, Sisla Krzyzewiak of Poland in 1958, Finland's Juha Vejtanen in 1971 and Salvatore Antibo of Italy in 1990. On August 19, 2010, at a Diamond League meeting in Zurich, Farah ran 5,000 m in 12 minutes and 57.94 seconds, breaking David Moorcroft's long-standing British record and becoming the first-ever British athlete to run under 13 minutes. In December 2010, Farah was named Track and Field Athlete of the Year by the British Olympic Association. He closed the year at the Bio Classic and just missed out on the 10,000 m title, losing to Amain Murga in a sprint finish by 0.2 seconds, 2011-12, European and British records. And World Medals 2011 was a successful year for Farah, beginning on January 8 at the Edinburgh Cross Country, where he defeated the top four finishers of that year's European Championships to take victory in the long race. In February 2011, Farah announced that he would be relocating to Portland, Oregon to work with new coach Alberto Salazar, train alongside Galen Rupp, and avoid the attention of the British tabloids. On February 19, 2011 in Birmingham, England, Farah broke the European 5000 M indoor record with a time of 13 minutes and 10.60 seconds, at the same time taking 10 seconds off the 29-year-old British indoor record of Nick Rose. On March 5, 2011, he won gold in the 3,000 meters at the European Indoor Championships. On March 20, Farah also won the NYC Half Marathon in a time of 1 hour and 23 seconds, a new British record. He and training partner Galen Rupp had originally planned on running a 10,000 M race in New Zealand. However, after the race was cancelled due to the Christchurch earthquake and damage done to the track, they entered the Half Marathon in New York. On June 3, 2011, at a Diamond League meeting in Eugene, Oregon, Farah won the Prefontaine Classics 10,000 M event in 26 minutes and 46.57 seconds, setting a new British and European record. On July 22, 2011, at a Diamond League meeting in Monaco, he set a new British national record in the 5,000 M with a time of 12,53.11. Farah edged out American Bernard Laggett to win the race. In the 2011 World Championships in Athletics in Tegu, South Korea, Farah made a major breakthrough on the world stage by taking the silver medal in the 10,000 M and then the gold in the 5,000 M. He became the first British man to win a World Championships medal over either distance. 
Farah had in fact been more strongly favored to take the 10,000M title, but was narrowly beaten in a last lap sprint by Ethiopian Ibrahim Jailan. In the 5,000M, he overcame Laggett, beating him into second place. Following the race, Dave Moorcroft, former 5,000 meters world record holder, hailed Farah as the greatest male distance runner that Britain has ever seen. At the European Championships in June 2012, he won the 5,000 meter. This then made Farah the first athlete to win this European title more than once. 2012, double Olympic champion Farah on the way to his first Olympic gold medal during the 10,000M event at the 2012 Summer Olympics. The post box on London Road, Isleworth, painted in honor of Farah as part of a scheme to celebrate Britain's 2012 Olympic gold medal winners. At the London 2012 Olympics, on August 4, Farah won the 10,000M gold in a time of 27 minutes and 30.42 seconds. This was Great Britain's first Olympic gold medal in the 10,000M and came after two other gold medals for the country in the same athletic session. His training partner, Galen Rupp of the United States, took second place. At the time both runners were a part of the Nike Oregon project coached by Alberto Salazar. Ferris stated that he would observe his Ramadan fast later in the year, on August 11, 2012, Farah made it a long-distance double, winning the 5,000 meters in a time of 13,41.66. The noise from the crowd in the 5,000M race was so loud it made the camera shake and distorted the photo finish image. He dedicated the two golds to his twin daughters. On August 23, 2012, Farah returned to the track at a Diamond League meet in Birmingham, where he capped off a winning season with another victory over a distance of 2 miles, 3.2 kilometers. CB following his 2012 successes, Farah was appointed commander of the Order of the British Empire, CB, in the 2013 New Year Honours for Services to Athletics. The move was met with anger by many in the general public, including erstwhile Minister of Sports Jerry Sutcliffe, who felt that Farah instead deserved a higher accolade. Farah's former physical education teacher Alan Watkinson similarly indicated that he was disappointed that Farah was not knighted and that the decision discredits the system although it's still a fantastic achievement for MO and well-deserved. However, Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg cited Farah's Olympic double gold win in his 2013 New Year's message and 2012 Autumn Conference, and David Cameron in August 2013 expressed support for a knighthood for Mo Farah. 2013, 1,500M record and world medals Farah during his gold medal victory in the men's 3,000m event at the 2013 London Grand Prix. On July 19, 2013, at the Hercules meeting in Monaco, Farah broke the European 1500M record with a time of 3 minutes and 28.81 seconds. The feat meant that he was the sixth fastest man ever over the distance, overtaking Steve Cram's 28-year-old British record and Fermin Cacho's 16-year-old European record. It also made Farah the seventh man, behind Saeed Awida, Daniel Komen, Ali Saidi Seif, Hisham El Guru. Augustine Caprono Choge and Bernard Laggett to break both the 330 barrier in the 1500 meters and the 13 minute barrier in the 5000 meters, as well as the only athlete in history to run sub 330, sub 13 minute, and sub 27 minute for 1500 meters, 5000 meters, and 10,000 meters, respectively. Additionally, he has a sub one hour run in the half marathon. The following month, Farah won the London Diamond League Anniversary Games 3000 meters event in a time of 7 minutes and 36.85 seconds. He twice broke the national record in the half marathon, first on February 24 in New Orleans, then broke his own record on September 15 in the Bupa Great North Run on August 10, 2013. Farah stayed in front of Ibrahim Jailan to win the 10,000 M event at the World Championships in Moscow. The victory was his fourth global title. On August 16, 2013, Farah won the 5000M event, in the process becoming double world and Olympic champion. After this victory, BBC commentator Brendan Foster and Sebastian Coe called Farah Britain's greatest ever athlete. Farah became only the second man in history to win long distance titles at successive editions of the Olympics and World Championships. After Kenanisa Bekele's 2008 09 feat, he was the first British athlete to win two individual gold medals at a world championships. 
In December 2013, Farrow was the second favorite, behind Wimbledon tennis champion Andy Murray, to become the BBC Sports Personality of the Year. When he was asked what drove him to keep pushing back the boundaries of athletic accomplishment, he noted sprinter Usain Bolt's record-breaking streak as a motivating example of what is possible for all dedicated athletes. Farrow was a finalist for the 2013 IAAF World Athlete of the Year Award. In preparation for his marathon debut, he also extended his training schedule to 120 miles a week. 2014, Double European gold in Zurich Farah began 2014 preparing for the year's London Marathon, his first such run. He described running the event as a long-standing ambition of his, particularly to do so in London. Farah finished in 8th place in a time of 2 minutes and 8.21 seconds. This was outside Steve Jones' GB record, but set a new English national record. Farah on the way to victory in the 5,000M men final of the 2014 European Athletics Championships in Zurich. Farah was due to compete at the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. However, he withdrew due to illness from a stomach ailment and an infection caused from having a tooth removed. Farah later appeared in Zurich at the 2014 European Athletics Championships. He successfully defended his 5,000M title and won a gold in the 10,000M, thus completing another major championship double. This made him the most successful individual in the history of the European Athletics Championships, with five titles to his name. On September 7, 2014, Farah competed in the Great North Run, a British half-marathon. He won the race with a personal best time of one hour, exactly one hour, 2015, World and European Records On February 21, 2015, Farah broke the indoor two-mile world record at the Birmingham Indoor Grand Prix. He ran in 8 minutes and 3.4 seconds to break Kenanisa Bekele's record. On March 22, Farah broke the European record for half-marathon in Lisbon. He ran a time of 59 minutes, 32 seconds, surpassing the record set 14 years previously by Spain's Fabian Roncero. He repeated his long-distance gold medal double at the 2015 World Championships in Athletics. His win in the 10-000M made him the oldest World Championship winner in that event, at age 32. 2016, double-double Olympic golds at Rio on March 26, Farah received a bronze medal in the 2016 IAAF World Half Marathon Championships in Cardiff, finishing in 59,59, less than one second. Ahead of Abena Ayel On February 20, Farah won the Glasgow Indoor Grand Prix 3000M event. On June 5, 2016, Farah broke the 34-year-old British 3,000-meter record set by Moorcroft by winning the Diamond League in Birmingham, a win he dedicated to the recently deceased boxer Muhammad Ali. In July 2016 Farah set the concurrent world-leading time in the 5,000M in winning the Diamond League in London. He won the 10-000M at the Diamond League in Eugene, in a time of 26 minutes and 53.71 seconds which remained the second-fastest time in. The World of the Year on August 13, Farah won a gold medal in the 10,000 meters at the Rio Olympics, making it the first time a Briton had won three athletic gold Olympic medals. After being accidentally clipped on the back of the heel by American Galen Rupp on the 10th lap, he fell, but went on to win gold with the time of 27 minutes and 5.17 seconds. Rupp slowed after Farah's fall to check his condition and finished in fifth place with a time of 27 minutes and 8.92 seconds. In the final lap Farah battled Paul Tanui, who took the lead with 300 meters remaining. Farah edged him out with 100 meters to go. Tanui finished in second place with a time of 27.05.64. On August 20, Farah went on to win a second gold medal in the 5,000 meters at the Rio Olympics. Coming into the 31st Olympiad, Farah was trying to win gold medals in the 10,000 meters and 5,000 meters to double his success from the London Olympics. Farah held off the lead he had set and finished with a time of 13 hours 3 minutes and 30 seconds, making it only the second time someone has retained the 5,000M and 10,000M Olympic titles, after Lasse Viren of Finland in 1972 and 1976. In September 2016, he won the Great North Run for a record third consecutive year. In 2016, 
he was the fastest person from the European continent over two middle-distance events and three long-distance events, the 1500 meters, 3000 meters, 5000 meters, 10,000 meters, and the half. Marathon respectively, his ninth global title, the 5000 M in Rio, made him surpass Kenanisa Bekele as the most frequent winner of gold in history for major long-distance events. He remained unbeaten in 2016 in the 3000 M as well as in six races over the 10 M and 5 M distances, 2017, 10th world title and track retirement in his final world championships appearance at London 2017, Farah, R, triumphed in the 10,000 M ahead of Joshua Cheptegei, L, left image, and took silver in the 5000 M behind Mukhtar Edris, L, right image. Farah announced that he would switch from track events to the marathon after the 2017 World Championships in Athletics. He won the 10.000M event and came second in the 5.000M event after Ethiopia's Mukhtar Edris. Farah won his final two track events in the Diamond League in Birmingham and Zurich. On August 24, 2017, he won his final 5.000M in the Diamond League, finishing in 13 minutes and 6.05 seconds, in a final sprint against Paul Che Limo and Mukhtar Edris just behind in 13 minutes and 6.09 seconds. On August 20, 2017, Farah again reiterated his decision to move to the marathon full-time and caused headlines when he announced after running his last 10.000M race on British soil at the Muller Grand Prix in Birmingham that he would never again run in a GB vest. On September 10, 2017, Farah won the Great North Run for a record fourth consecutive time. He finished in 1 hour and 6 seconds, 6 seconds ahead of Jake Robertson. On October 31, Farah split from Alberto Salazar in order to be coached by Gary Locke, husband and former coach of Paula Radcliffe. Salazar stated that the split was mutual and he would be happy to advise Farah in the future. Since 2018, full-time marathon runner in March 2018, in preparation for the London Marathon, Farah won the inaugural London Big Half Marathon, his first race in six months. On April 22, 2018, Farah came third in the London Marathon in a time of 2 hours 6 minutes and 22 seconds, comfortably beating the British record of 2 hours 7 minutes and 13 seconds set by Steve Jones in 1985. On September 9, 2018 Farah won the Great North Run for a record-extending fifth consecutive time. At the Chicago Marathon Farah claimed his inaugural gold medal in the marathon distance and in the process set a new European record of 2 hours 5 minutes and 11 seconds, an improvement by 37 seconds. 2019, planning a track return in February 2019, Farah announced he planned to run again in the London Big Half Marathon in March 2019. In an interview, he also stated that he is considering competing in the Tokyo Olympics in 2020, which, if confirmed, would mark his fourth Olympic Games. As well as stating that this would depend on whether his wife and kids let him comma, he reflected on his track retirement, saying, I was honest and said I was done with the track but part of me missed it. I feel like I can still win medals and do as well as I have over the years. He has also confirmed that he may run in the 10,000 meters at the World Championships in Doha in late 2019, although this would depend on the result of the 2019 Big Half Marathon. This possibility was later confirmed by Neil Black, Performance Director of British Athletics who has said that Farah had received financial backing from the National Lottery in anticipation for both his participation in the championships, as well as for the Tokyo Olympics, Mo Farah, left, Bashir Abdi and Daniel Wanjiru compete in the 2019 London Half Marathon, finishing in that order. On March 10, 2019, Farah won his second London Big Half Marathon and again hinted at running the 10.000M at the World Championships in October 2019. In April, Farah finished in fifth place in the 2019 London Marathon in 2 hours 5 minutes and 39 seconds. On September 8, 2019, Farah won the 2019 Great North Run for a record sixth consecutive time in a new personal best of 59.07 on November 29, 2019. Farah announced via his YouTube channel his plan to return to the track to defend his 10,000M Olympic title at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. 
Ferris stated he would put his marathon career on hold while he returned to track-oriented training. 2020 In August 2020, Farrow won the inaugural Antrim Coast Half Marathon with a time of 1 HR 0 minutes 27 seconds. On September 4, 2020, Farrow set the men's all time record for the one hour run at the 2020 Diamond League meeting in Brussels, Belgium, covering 21,330 meters, 13.25 miles, breaking Haile Gebrselassie's record of 21,285 meters set at Ostrava. Czech Republic on 27 June 2007, 2021 Farah spent several weeks at altitude training in Ethiopia before competing at the Djibouti International. Half Marathon Farah won the race in a time of 1 hour 3 minutes and 7 seconds. After training in Flagstaff, United States, Farah returned to the United Kingdom where, at the 2021 European 10 m Cup in Birmingham, United Kingdom, he raced his first track 10 m since the World Championships in 2017. He finished in 8th place in a time of 27,50.64, this result broke his undefeated streak in the 10 m from 2011 to 2021. Farah later said he was dealing with a foot-slash-ankle injury. On June 25, 2021, Farah failed to qualify for the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games managing to run only a 27 minutes and 47.04 seconds for the 10 m at the Manchester Regional Arena, despite this time being a stadium record. The cutoff time for Olympic qualification of the 10 m stands at 27 minutes and 28 seconds, leaving Farah 19 seconds off the pace. When asked whether this would lead to the end of his distinguished career, he said it's a tough one. If I can't compete with the best I'm not just going there to finish in a final. Tonight shows it's not good enough. Mobit Mo Farah with his Mobit signature pose at the 2013 London Anniversary Games. Farah often marks victories with a celebration dance known as the Mobit. He adopted the move following a television appearance in May 2012 opposite sports presenter Claire Balding on the panel game show A League of Their Own. The host James Corden suggested to the panelists that they should think of a new dance to mark Farah's winning celebration, and Balding subsequently came up with the M gesture called Mobit. At its inaugural demonstration, she indicated that the part of the move intended to represent the M and MO was inspired by the dance to YMCA, a popular song by the village people. Corden himself then named it as the Mobit. A robot was named Mobit at a university research exhibition in honor of Farah's celebration. Farah has since used the pose as part of a charity to raise funds for his foundation. Virgin Media has promised to donate two pounds for every YouTube video that is uploaded with someone doing the Mobit. Farah often uses the sign-off Shaba in online postings. Personal life, family, and interests. Farah lives in London, England. In July 2022, Farah revealed his birth identity as Hussein Abdi Kahin. When he was four years old, his father was killed by a stray mortar round during the Isaac genocide in the Somaliland War of Independence. Aged eight, Farah and his twin, Hassan, were sent to live with his uncle in Djibouti. Shortly after, Farah says he was brought to the UK by a woman he did not know and told to use the name Mohammed Farah, taken from another child. Once in London, he was forced to work for her and her family and prevented from contacting his own. Age 12, Farah was allowed to start school and he later confided in his PE teacher, who contacted social services who arranged for Farah to be fostered by another family. His teacher later helped him apply for British citizenship. As an adult, Farah has made contact with his birth family, and his mother and two brothers live on a farm in Somaliland. Prior to these revelations, Farah had said that he had been separated from his twin Hassan aged eight when the family moved to join their father, who was working and studying in the UK. Hassan was unwell and unable to travel so stayed in Djibouti, but when his father returned the family Hassan was living with had. Moved and could not be found for 12 years, in April 2010, Farah married his longtime girlfriend Tanya Nell in Richmond, London. Other athletes at the wedding included Paula Radcliffe, Steve Cram, Haley Yelling, Joe Pavey, Mustafa Mohammed, and Scott Overall, who was an usher. Farah has a stepdaughter named Rihanna from this relationship. He and his wife have twin daughters called Aisha and Imani, born in August 2012. In 2015, Farah and Nell had a son called Hussein. 
From 2011 to 2017, Farah lived with his family in Portland, Oregon, U.S. so that he could train full-time with the Nike Oregon Project. At the end of 2017, he cut ties with his coach Alberto Salazar and decided to return to London. His statement said Tanya and I realized how much we have missed spending time with our friends and family and the kids are so happy here, too. We want the kids to grow up in the UK. It's the right thing to do for my family. Farah is a Muslim and is an active supporter of the Muslim Writers' Awards. Islam is an important part of his preparation. I normally pray before a race. I read Dua, Islamic prayers or invocations. Think about how hard I've worked and just go for it. He notes that the Quran says that you must work hard in whatever you do, so I work hard in training and that's got a lot to do with being successful. It doesn't just come overnight, you've got to train for it and believe in yourself, that's the most important thing. An RISSC publication named Farah as among the 500 most influential Muslims in the world in 2013. Farah is also a fan of Arsenal FC and has trained with its first team squad. He has indicated a desire to become a fitness coach at the Emirates Stadium in Holloway once he retires so as to improve its conditioning record. In October 2013, he launched a book titled Mo Farah, Twin Ambitions, My Autobiography in Canary Wharf, London. Farah has a large following on social media. This includes roughly 1.5 million followers on Twitter, 1.1 million on Facebook and 1.1 million on Instagram. In 2013, he was the top-ranked query for a sportsperson on the search engine Microsoft UK Bing who was not a footballer.